Hi everyone, this is myself from Puzzle Foundry bringing you a tutorial video on solving crosswords on our page. Now, Puzzle Foundry is a website for people who want to create and solve puzzles. We offer functionalities for both crosswords and polygrams. What makes our page entirely unique is our unique functions that we offer as well as the fact that you can create and solve your own puzzles in six different languages. Um, I will be going into some of the details of the functionalities in a later stage of the video. I would also like to mention that um, I will be adding the link to a video with the tutorial on how to create your own crosswords if you wish to do so. The first thing you do if you want to solve crosswords on our site is go to www.puzzlefoundry.com. Then you can log in or create your own user account. Um, and if you want to, you can go to search puzzles um, here on the left side of the page. The search puzzle function will give you a list of all the puzzles, or most of the puzzles at least, of our site. Um, you can go ahead and search for any puzzles using the, the title bar up here. Um, you can even go by, um, search by the type, so the type of uh, puzzle it is, uh, the difficulty, the language you want to solve the puzzle in, um, and then the member it was created by, and then you can list it. So we'll be doing a puzzle foundry puzzle, uh, one of the ones I created. Okay, so the first thing I'll be doing is explaining the screen layout. So in the center right here, we have our crossword uh, space where you'll be filling in and solving the actual crossword. On the right, we have our across and down riddles, um, which you'll be using to get the answers for your crossword, obviously. On your left side, uh, we have some of the, more, the functionalities for solving the crossword. So this first section over here is for saving the crossword. There's up to nine saving slots, and you can go ahead and choose any slot um, that you want and save your puzzle that you're busy with. Um, there also we have the rating, so you can rate the user's puzzle by how you experienced the puzzle, puzzle's quality to be. Then you have a difficulty setting, we're going from easy to hard. Um, here you can uh, rate the puzzle for how hard you have found it. And if you're done with all the things here, you can just press save and it will save your puzzle as it is. Then we have the email function here. So the email function is specifically designed so you can uh, send the author of the puzzle an email um, if you have any queries or suggestions. The check results key is right here, which I will be explaining a bit later in the video where we're actually doing the crosswords. This brings me to the bottom of the page. So here at the bottom of the page, um, we have some of the unique functions that you can use to help solve the crosswords that you're busy with. Um, so this is a little translation uh, function, and we have five languages you can move between, which is Afrikaans, uh, Dutch, English, Espanol, and Esperanto. Um, then here are all the unique functions that we have, thesaurus, word pattern, anagram, prefix, substring, suffix, and similar spelling. Um, these are the things you'll be using that, that could help you when you're solving puzzles. So if you use the thesaurus and you type in dream, which is dream, it gives you some of the synonyms and examples of how it could be used. So you have ambition, aspiration, daydream, etc. Um, then we have our word pattern, which is one of my favorite functions, especially when you're creating your own crosswords, um, which you can use then to find, to look for words that you don't have yet. And the ones that you do know, you insert. So if you were solving a, cross, a crossword here and you'd have the word dream, and you only have the R and the M, um, you'd insert the stars for the amount of blocks that you have open um, and in the position that that block is open and then you can add the letters uh, for the, the letters that you actually do know. Um, if you type in, if you enter, press enter then for the word search, it gives you some examples um, where the wildcards will be filled in with letters of possibilities um, that actually do exist. Like we have bream here, broom, cream, uh, dream, which is the one we were looking for, groom and prism. Um, so that's just basically how the word pattern function looks. 
Um, then next we have our anagram. Our anagram is pretty simple. If you've ever done any anagrams before, it basically just reshuffles the words into um, other possibilities of words that do exist. So dream here will give us dream, armed, and derma. So those are three little examples of how an anagram could be used then. Then we have the prefix. Now the prefix gives you um, a bunch of words with the prefix that you'd search for. So if you were to type something like pre, it will give you a list of words that has pre as a prefix. Then you have the substring. Now the substring, um, um, it uses the word that you search for and search for words that that word is found within. So if you'd use cat, um, you'd see here we have words like abdicate or abdication, acidification, um, adjudicate. And you can see if you look closely at like parts like this, you have like cat in there. Um, advocates like there is cat so it basically gives you the word that you search for within other words that do exist then you have the suffix so the suffix if you were to type in a suffix of a word it gives you all the possibilities of endings so like attend calend defend content condescend uh, so all of those kind of words and lastly we have our similar spelling which gives us words that are similarly spelled um, to the word that you search for. So we will be using dream again here. So words like dream, ream, bream, cream, dream, dram, dread, or drear are words of similar spelling to dream. Um, and that's the unique functions of the crosswords. Okay, now to explain to you guys how you can actually solve your crosswords. So, the, how the GUI works here, if you press on the word that you're busy solving, um, especially specifically the number, it will highlight on the left side the riddle that you're busy with right now. So you can see if I press in any one of these, it highlights the words for me. Um, another way you can also uh, man uh, move around in the crossword is using the arrow keys. The arrow keys can help you move around um, the crossword much more easier if you don't want to use your mouse. When it actually comes to solving um, the crosswords, say for instance you want to insert the answer here for this one. So they're asking a place you can make metal castings, which we know is a foundry. As you type, um, the computer will automatically move you around to the place that you need to be so the cursor will move according to where you need to go um, it always takes preference as well to the left and not going down so if you were to start typing here it'll always start going this way instead of going down so just keep that in mind as well when doing crosswords then i would like to quickly show you guys how the check results functionality work okay First, when you before you can check your results, you first need to like save your puzzle. puzzle. So I'm going to be choosing save slot six, and I'll be giving this puzzle, let's say a four, and rating it as an easy puzzle. By clicking save, it will say to you here that it has saved your puzzle now, and it has saved it specifically here at number six. Um, if I were to place check results, then it gives you that the answers checked is 1 and the errors is found as 0, meaning so far I have not made any mistakes in this puzzle. But if I were to make a mistake by typing in the wrong word here, which is dreary because they're asking you here for number 2, um, dictionaries mm, words, um, and dreary words is obviously incorrect. But if I were to press check results, it says that it has checked two answers, found one error, and it gives you the place which is two down. And you'll also see it shows you in a, almost like a reddish kind of pink that these were these letters are wrong in the puzzle. If I were to then go and fix them, so we know that dictionaries define crosswords um, and check results again, you'll see that it goes black black um, and then gives you answers checked and that the errors are zero. Um, and that's basically it for solving um, these crosswords. So when you guys are actually done solving the crosswords, um, you'll see if you check the results, it will say, well done, it's correctly solved. Um, and that's basically how you know you finished the whole crossword. Um, so that's the end of this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I, as I said before, I will be uh, sharing the link in the description of how to create your own crosswords. 
um, and also all our social media accounts, specifically our Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys soon on Puzzle Foundry creating and solving your puzzles.